What's your diet? My diet? Well, I'm a vegan. Now, it used to be that vegans were considered to be sort of in the fringe, you know? Those people that were sort of extreme, you know, they'd be here dairy products. But I want to point out to you that when Esselstyn and Ornish reversed coronary artery disease, they reversed it. Coronary artery disease kills one third of the people in the United States, and they reversed it. You just stop and think about that. See, how, what did they do it on? They did it on a vegan, low fat diet. Do you know why they did it on a vegan diet? Because any animal products will keep your cholesterol up. You can't get the cholesterol down. Now, you can reduce it, you know, by leaving the fat off. But Campbell of Cornell, who wrote that excellent book, The China Study, says that animal proteins are as bad at raising blood cholesterol as are the, the animal proteins are as bad as animal fat. So you take and pour off the cream and drink the skim milk, the protein will get you. If you can lower the cholesterol and you can reverse coronary artery disease on a vegan diet, you can't do it even if you're drinking milk and, and uh, taking this uh, proteins. It has to be vegan. Animal proteins are not, not a friend. And that's what, I, that's what I do. Now, I'll have to admit that I grew up on a farm. I always considered milk a messy business. I milked the cows. If you ever milk the cow, it's not the most hygienic procedure. <laughs> and, and I never drink milk out of the glass. My mother used it in cooking and, and uh, so forth. But I never did drink milk out of the glass or eat eggs as such. Now, she used them in the cooking. So I have that background of being light on animal products. Now, I didn't do it for any health reasons, it's just that I didn't care. But when I found out I didn't need them, boy, they are out the door. I'll tell you, anytime I can bring a glass of soy milk, I'm not going to drink the secretions of a cow. <laughs>